Chris Oliver, Kriminal Correspondent for the Austrian newspaper Die Presse here in Brussels. Um, I'm interested in, in what's the wider lesson to be drawn, uh, to, to be learned from, from, from the Irish case for the Economic and Monetary Union. Would you be in favour of this idea of creating also a fiscal union in Europe? Yeah, I think um, I think many of the many of the changes that have already been agreed at, at council level um, in terms of budgetary oversight, in terms of economic governance, will will go a long way to um, achieving much uh, a much more centralised and a much more effective form of governance right across the European Union. Um, I mean, if you if you talk about a fiscal union in terms of um, you know some sort of centra centralised budgetary oversight, I think that's something that we would welcome. Um, I think it's important that we all know uh, in a union of, um, well, in a eurozone of 17 member states in a union of 27, that we are um, not acting um, against the interests of other member states. That we, you know, we have a common purpose and uh, we share um, an interest in ensuring the stability of the currency and we share an interest in enhancing the competitiveness of the eurozone. Um, the question is, how far do you go, I suppose? Um, my government certainly would not be in favour of harmonising tax rates, for example, um, which is probably <laughs> something you had at the back of your mind in asking that question. Um, but, we, but, but we are in favour of um, some degree of uh, coordination in terms of taxation policy. So I suppose the, the, the devil is always in the detail, um, and we're very open to those kinds of discussions at a European level. Um, but, but we would draw the line at you know, the idea of harmonising tax rates and, and eliminating competition between member states entirely. We think that would be very unhealthy and unhelpful uh, for the competitiveness of the Eurozone.